shouldn't be a bad kid, but hey, bad <laughs> kids exist. Fresh meat for the grinder. Straight from the unforgiving waste. I want to join the races. <sighs> you see that slate? You put your mark on it. Then I'll put you in the murder dome. Is that like the Thunderdome? You work the blood and gut circuit for a couple of years. Survive it. Make champion. Then maybe I can start grooming you for a shot in the races. <laughs> no time, Joel Bone. I need to join the races now. Okay. Maybe we can find a spot for a man of your uh, temperament. Hmm? Yeah. In return, for a favor. A very dangerous, possibly suicidal favor. Eh? You see? You see these? These are lights. But they fade. And when they fade, I fade with them. But if a man, a very desperate man, were to fetch me some new ones, you follow me, Wastelander? You want new bulbs. I want new ladies! Yeah! I want a lot of them! I asked them all! The gag... The gag baggers, the torpedoes, the noosemen, but no one would help me! You know why? Because they don't have the stones for buzzing country. Tell me exactly where they are. Follow this, and you'll get to the underdo. Bon voyage! <laughs> All right, well, <clears throat> that twinkling bag of lard puts you in the races. First, it's an errand run. All right, so where do we got to go? Where do we, we got to go all the way over here, and guess what? There is not a fast travel point in sight, ladies and gentlemen. So we're driving all the way to the edge of this map here. Uh, it might actually be a little bit shorter to fast travel to this balloon here, and then go. But then again, this looks about maybe the same distance anyway, who cares? Whew, this is going to be a little bit of driving. Just a wee bit. Because no one else wants to do this man a favor and get him his lighty, so I got to do it. How good a car that'll, like, blow me up in two shots. I'd rather, I'd rather not, like, mess with these guys, but... Considering they just fuck me in the ass anyway. Oh shit. Oh, come on. Oh good, they all caught up to me. Because I flew off the road like an idiot. They all caught up to me. Hello. I see you're back. Can I pull out your fucking... So help me God, if you stay close to me, I will pull you out of the car. I will pull you out of the car. If you really want to do it, I'm going to try to keep as much ammo as I can for when I really need it. If they want to keep chasing me, I can pull them out of the car with the harpoon. It's fine by me. Someone's still chasing me. What the fuck is this? I don't know what's going on here. All I know is that I gotta, so I gotta get it. I gotta clear this area out at least. All right. Oh, holy, holy. What if I hit these barrels with the harpoon? Do they blow up? Oh, great. That wasn't really what I wanted. Set up, set up us the bomb. What a great reference that was. Damn it. 
Fuck it. I'll just fucking shoot it with I'm my gun. Right here. Yes, I'm a protector, Saint. You know, I'll just shoot it with the sniper below, rifle. Please. I really don't care about the sniper rifle, to be honest. So, I have a little bit of ammo for it. I don't even know if I needed to do that, but hey, the gate's open and we can continue on. Some, there's some scrap around here, though. I wish there was some water. I need water. Or food. I'll accept both. Okay, there's not a damn thing up here. How about over yonder? Ammo. Oh, there's some scrap up here. I got I got my sniper rounds back, it looks like. Let me just drink the rest of this water. I'm up to a healthy half health. Which isn't as healthy as I would like. And there's ammo up here, which I probably don't even need. Actually, I got another sniper round. Are there any upgrades I can give Max? Like, can he get... I don't think he can get all maxed out yet. It's kind of a pun, right? A little bit. Max out Max. I don't know if that's really a pun. I don't know what that would be called. Maybe a coincidence. I have no idea. Oh, there's the old headlight of thirst. Maybe a bad dad joke. It's probably the closest it's going to get. Bad dad joke. All right, well, we made it to their bullshit uh, area here. Now we just need to find his lighties for him. How much scrap do I got? Do I got enough for the new engine yet? I might. I don't. I'm still missing about 70 scrap. Let's see what's going on in here. I don't know what. Oh, water from a toilet? Don't mind if I do. I love toilet water. There was barely any in here, but. Still filled up like half my canteen. It's not bad. Go ahead and drink it again. How fucking deep is this place? Look at this. I thought this was just like a nice little building to to go in and spelunk a little bit. But now I see it goes to the bottles of hell, so not too sure about this one. Oh, there's food down here. Great. I think I'll save that for after the fight. In case I get, uh, in case I get shit on here. I didn't really get shit on. Ammo, I'm full on ammo. We got food, I can eat food. I just came here for the plentiful scrap I was promised and now it looks like I have to jump. I bet if you fall on that, you're dead. I'm just gonna guess. I got a scrap pallet. And a memento. Nice history relic. Sully, remember that crazy Outback adventure we did when we drank muddy water and ate snakes? Can you believe we actually paid money for what is now an everyday survival routine? Things change fast. Good old Marcus Phoenix. We all thought survival was a game. A very few crossed the finish line. Good to see Marcus Phoenix is doing well in this terrible apocalypse I'm glad they got some parkour in this game with Max's piddly like one foot length jump that he can do you have to jump across some fire bullshit I love parkour 
I'm really good at it. You should ask me to do it sometime. And by really good at it, I mean if you want me to die, then sure, ask me to do it. I'm great at it. I'm great at dying while doing parkour. That's how great at parkour I am. And we just got a delivery of bullshit from the camps that I own, so looks like we can get our fancy dancy new engine. The humongous V6. I need to reduce threat in the territory to get that. And, like, this needs to be... Like, I hate how they did that. Like, it, it gives you something to work for, but I feel like it's too much work. Like, there's a fine line of how much you should have to do before you get something. And I think, like, there's just a little bit too much work you have to do in this game to get stuff. Sometimes. That must be it. Up ahead. The tower! A black beacon for those tunnels of doom! That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion, so um, maybe you feel differently, but I feel like it takes a little bit too much to to get some of the upgrades. And your car is really important. So that kind of puts you in a, in a poor position, you know, do you trudge through the rest of the game and try your best? Looks like the Underdune was an airport. So many awful tales about this place. You, know, you you trudge through the game and without the upgrades and hope for the best, or do you hunker down and do a whole bunch of stuff? Harpoon's ready, Saint. Yeah, do you hunker down and do all that stuff, hope for the best? Do you spend all that time, or do you just wing it and that say fuck this? Sphere, what manner of pagan temple once stood? In? Focus. We're here for the balls. We get to drive around a nice old abandoned airport. Oh, what crouching horrors await us in that gloom. Keep your eyes open. And your voice down. Keep your voice down? We're driving a car through here. He tells him to keep his voice down, but we're literally driving a car. That we've upgraded to make louder through tunnels. I don't even care. Who gives a shit? Chum can just repair it, watch. Chum can just repair. What the fuck? I think the next thing I get should probably be the... the full upgrade repair thing. Which I believe was 600. Yeah, so we'll save up. I need another 300-ish. That would make repairing quite a bit faster. Which would help me out a little bit at least, right? By the way, chum, keep your voice down. We're just going to drive a car through here anyway and run into a bunch of stuff. So, But keep your voice down. You don't want to be loud. You wouldn't want to disturb the peace, chum. You idiot. I really hope this isn't where I came from. Oh, fuck. I'm also gonna trigger half the booby traps, but you gotta be quiet, chum. Just stop talking. I should probably really keep my car relatively healthy down here. <laughs> 